All right, welcome back, everybody. It is Friday, June twenty fourth. Yesterday, we thought we caught the the crazed killer, and we were all like, "Yeah!" and celebrating. And then we realized that Rise, uh had left the tofu shop. We weren't quite sure where she went. We're like, "Okay, maybe everything's cool. Maybe she just wandered off." Or Grandma's like, "Yeah, no, she wanders off sometimes. It's fine." So we're like, "Okay, maybe everything's all right." And then she appeared on the Midnight Channel very vividly very uh uh push as she put it pushing this the uh pushing standards in practice so we'll just leave that at that and yeah so today we're gonna do a little bit more investigating and hope that we can find her and see you over here students doctor Man, I'm cool. I've got nothing to do. I guess I'll head over to Okina. With the movie theater, the shops, and the cafes there, I should be entertained. It's a great spot for dates, too. My girlfriend really digs it there, so I should see if she wants to go, too. Why do you have to do that? You're just rubbing your girlfriend in my face. Some people pay for that. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope that crazy woman at the clothing store makes you buy something dumb. You took some way too intense pop. Oh man, don't be a hater. I didn't mean it like that. It's just a fun place to go with anyone. Friend or girlfriend. You wanna come next time? Running kid! Get some running kid. Sorry, it's like... Okay. Sorry, I had to pick something. Alright, here we are. Hey! Teddy! You okay? I wasn't crying. Oh. Everyone was okay. having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. We would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry, but I couldn't. Oh. Well, you are hollow inside. Damn you. Shut kid. up! Stop <laughs> saying I'm hollow! Is it really necessary? Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on! I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Aww. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Sure. Go right ahead. Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? <laughs> Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Risei Kujikawa? Hmm... You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. That's not true. I there are no trash cans stay here. stay with you all? Where would we throw you? Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. In order to make any progress, it seems you'll need more information about reset. Okay. Well, sure, yeah, go on to the next There's page. There's a lot of things space. I don't understand. Yeah. I've got your back, Teddy. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on. Teddy is doing his best to try to find his role in life. I feel a faint bond forming between you and Teddy. Uh-oh. Teddy's a social link, eh? Thou art high, and I am down. Thou hast established a new bond, brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Star Arcana, or Star Arcana. Is 
damage. The Teddy Social Link of the Star Arcana, you may experience the severest bonus for stars. I'll be waiting here. Okay, Teddy. You wait here, then. Alright, let's see. So, we need to go to Yasugami High first. We're going to the practice building, the second floor. Set is coming to our shopping district. Wow, I can't help but wonder what the reason is behind the, that sudden announcement of our age. I wonder if something happened. I really want to know. Is that not the kid? I uh, can't wait to make artwork as fine as my masters. Are you the super fan? Rosette? I'm her biggest fan. I'm like diehard Rosette. You are too? Uh, no? Well, ask me anything you want to know. A real Rosette fan like me should be able to give you the minutest details. Oh, you just want like a status update? Well, nothing's been bigger than the bond she dropped. About taking time off for a little R&R. &R. Her blog may have some hints about why, but well, there are a lot of theories out there. Okay, as a fan I'm devastated, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. If you want more up-to-the-date info, shouldn't you be asking someone in the media or something? Maybe I'll send a letter through her fan club. Hmm. I wonder if those will even reach her now. Seems like Rixie has a lot on her mind. Perhaps you should ask around. That's what I'm doing already, game! Alright. Let's see, we are going to town now. Shopping district. Was it? I don't remember which part of town the Tofu Shop was in. For some reason, I was thinking it was up here, but I, I think it was back there. Yeah, is this it right here? No, that's not right. Who's this? Hey, you there! Wait, can I talk to you? Are you free? Uh, not right now. There's the Tofu Shop. Oh, you're the boy from the other day. Looking for Risa? Sometimes she leaves the house without telling me. I hope she's okay. I've heard that some person with a camera has been wandering around recently. I think that person was called a Papa Rat or something. The people in this district try their best to get rid of that person, but he just keeps coming back. I heard that he's often at the flood plane. Seems to be a paparazzo who's been snooping on recent. Maybe you know something about recent disappearance. Alright, to the flood plane. Paparazzi? I don't know much about them, but I see a cameraman in the flight around here sometimes. They're obviously from out of town, so they caught my eye. But now that you mention it, I haven't seen any today. It seems like they come here fairly often. Maybe you should return tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. Like, why can't I ever show up this the time that somebody's supposed to be here? Alright, that's Gami High School. We're gonna go talk to Naoki. Oh, you sounds. Is there something you want? You recall that you borrowed a handkerchief from him. Will you return the handkerchief and talk with him? Yes. Oh, this is... Could have just thrown that away. This is my sister's handkerchief. My mom put it in my bag by mistake. No one ever uses it anymore, so... Sure, the handkerchief is glad to have been able to fulfill its duty. Thank you. He expressed his gratitude. No, thank you. No, it's okay. Really? Oh, I'm Naoki Konishi. Um, I apologize for saying I hated you when I first met you. You're usually more polite. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always say one word too many. 
Naoki shrugs. You have become acquaintances with Saki Konishi's younger brother, Naoki Konishi. I'm just glad he has a name. Naoki is struggling to cope with this complicated situation. Feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoki. Excellent. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed with creating personas of the hanged man Arcana. The only reason I read that one is because we can't skip it anyway, so I'm going to do that every time. You established the Saki's brother social link. Like, the kid has a name. He told us his name. Can we not just refer to him as Saki's brother? Especially since Saki's dead. Last time, when I came to that meeting, I made everyone feel uneasy, right? After that, I was officially fired from the association. They told me not to come to the meetings anymore. Well, it's my own fault. Left behind again. It's okay with you, maybe we can have fun together. I'm usually by our liquor store at the beginnings of the week. I'm helping out there. Well, I'll be going. Goodbye. You parted ways with Naoki and went home. Talking about her mother who died in an accident, Nanako's looking straight at you. It's a difficult situation for a girl Nanako's age to understand. But with your level of expression, you were able to explain it to her. Since you have justice, uh, we're going to become closer soon, so let's spend some time together. You said to talk to Nanako about life and death. <sighs> I see. This is hard. But I get it. Thank you, big bro. Nanako is nodding her head cheerfully. Is there anything else? Well... Um... Oh, there is. Nanako's eyes are gleaming. What happens to a person when they die? Uh, they go to heaven. <laughs> so it is true. Mommy went to heaven. Nanako is smiling happily. Woo! Oh yeah, I saw this on the news. Robbery at the post office. Why do bad people do bad things? Jiminy Christmas, Nanako. This is, like... <laughs> Yikes. They have no choice. They have no choice? I feel sorry for them. Nanako looks sad. But if there were no bad people, Dad would be home more. Last year, there weren't many crimes, so Dad was here a lot. He used to pick me up from kindergarten. Are bad people more important to Dad than I am? He's protecting everyone. <sighs> then is everyone else more important to him than me? Nanako looks up. Oh, that was probably the wrong answer, huh? It seems that Nanako is bearing her sadness stoically. That you can understand a bit of Nanako's loneliness. 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 <laughs> the Nanako Dojima. Oh, yep, we know. We know. We're aware. Let's talk about something else, big bro. You decided to talk about something different with the lonely looking Nanako. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Done bumming her out. Oh, gee, mini crit. Okay. Nope. Okay. Whew. Man, that day transition sneaks up on me so often. <laughs> All right. Well, that was the end of the 24th of June. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, pretty standard day overall. But it's all over now. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow. And until then. Take care.